Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Lowe's here. We back on the throne of positivity where the first is last and the last is first. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Hit the like button, comment down below. Let's go ahead and grow this channel so we could get that word out there. Let's help these people that are struggling in this world with the light of Christ. Today, I want to talk about a very interesting topic, um, and it's something that I feel like God really spoke to me about and has helped me throughout my process, uh, throughout the seasons of my life. And it's this. I want you to remember this. Do not give up. No matter what you're going through, it doesn't matter what the pain you are experiencing. Do not give up. Do not give up. God is so faithful. He is faithful to his word. He is faithful to his promises. Again, it doesn't matter what the intensity of your situation is. It doesn't matter the power of the wind in your storm. It doesn't matter the the, the magnitude of the waves that you are facing in that boat. Hold on for dear life. I'm telling you because God is so faithful, man. Like what I've seen him do in these past few days has left me in total and utter shock. I, I just can't even express this to you. I can't even explain it and put it in words, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, Saturday, I was crying out to God in my prayers and I'm just like, Father, literally I couldn't pray. Usually I pray for about an hour. Uh, that's not to brag or anything. That's just literally what I give God is an hour at the end of my day and in the beginning of my day. Saturday night, I get to my prayer closet and I'm just in bed and I'm crying out to God, begging God, Lord, please bless me. Father God, I can't do this no more. Please help me. And I'm crying out to the Lord and I'm just there like, Father, weeping. Lord, I have no words for you. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to say, Father. And I'm there crying and crying and I'm weeping and I'm weeping and I'm just there. And 20 minutes, 25 minutes go by and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just too tired. I don't have anything left. Lord, I'm going to go to sleep. The next day I get to service and my pastor's son was uh, preaching. He's also a pastor. And he said something so so amazing to me is uh well not to me in the preaching he was saying he was preaching on blurry vision and god healing uh a man of his sight of blurry vision and restoring his vision and it was just like wow i i, I feel like my vision has been blurred i feel like i've kind of lost sight of what god has told me and that's why i'm anxious that's why i'm just all over the place and i'm just man and then, you know, towards the end when he was closing out and he did the altar call, he said, it's time to stop begging God. It's time to stop begging God to do what he told you because you have the dominion and authority to ask God for those promises as a son and daughter of God. And that touched me so much. It literally touched me because it was like, man. That hit me because the night before, I was begging God, begging the Lord to save me from my situation. And it's so interesting because in your darkest moments is when the brightest morning comes. And I was there just like, man, Father, you are so amazing. Tuesday night, I go to prayer service. I was praying and I was having anxious thoughts again, rushing anxious thoughts you think that I would learn, right? But I was having anxious thoughts and then I'm praying to God and I'm just cla I'm just claiming his word and, and speaking that over myself. And then boom, like the joy of the Lord just took over me. And I'm just like, ah, oh, thank you, Father God, for this joy. I, I love you, Lord, and I appreciate you, Father, for everything you are doing. I close out the service and I'm like, man, only God could turn our darkest night into the brightest mornings. Only God can take that anxiety and give us joy why would he do that like why would you do that lord i failed you so much I, i'm so unworthy of who you are i'm so unworthy of your blessings like why would you love me when i'm in this state after the things that i've done lord in my past like why would you continue to love me why would you continue to care for me 
him. He's just love himself. He's love itself. It caused me to reflect, like, how have we gotten out of these situations before? Because Saturday, even though I was begging God, you know, I'm just, the, the few days in between, I'm just like, Lord, I'm ready to give up. I'm ready, Father God. I'm ready. I'm ready. Just just call the fight, Lord. I'm ready to surrender. I'm ready to give up, Lord. I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, Lord. I, I see it by faith, but it's just be like, man, I'm tired, Father. I'm so tired. And I'm just, this rush of thoughts were, were plaguing me. And this is where I want to get to with you is when you start feeling like you're going to give up, this is the key. I made a video of this on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and comment. I, I made a video about this, and I'm like, when you are going through a point in your life where you feel like giving up, you have absolutely no more strength, here's what I want you to do. Number one, remember what God promised you. Remember what God promised you because only you know. Only you know. You don't have to prove to anybody else. You don't have to talk to anybody else about it. God told you. He didn't tell uh, Fulano or anybody else. He didn't tell nobody else. He told you. So remember that because you're going to bring that hope to your heart. Bring that hope and hold it there for a second because we go on to number two. Number two, I want you to think about the consequences of you giving up in this moment. Remember the promise. Remember the promise. But then now, that hope is in a corner somewhere in your heart. Now, I want to strike the fear of God in your soul. When you feel like giving up, I want you to think about giving up. I want you to create the scenario in your life where you actually give up, where a month goes by that you gave up, a year goes by you gave up, five years, 10 years, 20 years, and then you reach the end of your life and you're there all alone and you look back on all the decisions that you made and you come back to this very moment that you gave, that you gave up and all the regret that you felt leading up to that point in the future. I want you to I want you to feel that pain and that regret. And then I want you to bring it back to this moment and weigh in the balance of God's scales and his justice. The pain that you are feeling now is nothing in comparison to the glory that is to be revealed. Compare the pain of giving up right now that you want to give up, what you're experiencing, those feelings, those emotions. I want you to compare that to the regret at the end of your life of actually having give up, given up. Where does that balance tip? Because I guarantee you that the pain is harsher at this point. So now you got to bring that into balance and call to mind. Call to mind God's goodness and his faithfulness. And this is what I do every single time that I want to give up. I think about the consequences of my actions and I take it to the most extreme, the most exaggerated. And I, I literally do this. I think about it and I'm like, yo, what would my what will my children think about me if I gave up right now? Is what will my wife think? What what will my family think? What will my friends think if I gave up right now? Would, would I be able to bear that shame? I can't look into my children's eyes and say, I gave up. Like, is that the type of man that I want to be? Is that the example that I want to set? No, I don't want to set that example. I want to be a man of faith. Brutally honest, right? Like, I'm not going to front and act like I got an S on my chest and I walk around. Mr. Super Faith. Mr. Super Faith. I'm not out here. You know, I'm Carlos Kent. Superman, but I ain't super faith. Right? I'm not super faith and I like to be real with my emotions and what I go through because I just want to be authentic to who I am and with God and with everybody else. And I want to show my children, my family, you know, my friends, yo, he stuck it through. Perseverance is what God is looking for. He's not looking for perfection. God is looking for perseverance, not perfection. 
That's the crazy part is we get so caught up that we got to do things perfect that we forget. God is asking for perseverance. He's the only one that's perfect, not you. Think about these things and meditate on them. And then once you get past that point where you've really thought about this and you've weighed it in the balance of God's scales of justice, ask yourself this third question. Can I make it to the morning? I'll tell you that 99.99% of the time where I had the worst night before, if I didn't disobey or I didn't betray God in any type of way, I will wake up the next morning with the with joy that's inexplicable or at the bare minimum, my emotions reset. And that's why the Bible says weeping may endure for a night. Oh, but joy cometh in the morning. Beloved, can you just make it to the morning? For God is faithful to call the sun to rise and shine on your face. And you will feel the warm embrace of his faithfulness and his goodness. And I'm telling you, this this is scripture that has brought so much joy and peace and love in my heart over these past two years. And that's Psalm 27, 13 to 14. I'm going to summarize it. I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And David says to himself, Oh, my soul, wait for the Lord. Oh, heart of mine, take courage and wait for the Lord. And it's so amazing that the Bible just has these rays of hope that breaks us free. That's why like you in the world, I don't understand how I used to do it. How did I ever do it in the, in the world with no hope and no joy, no peace when the word of God is just there? I want you to think about the goodness of God. And right now, after this video, I want you to go like the video, share, subscribe. And I want you to search CC Winings, Goodness of God. Watch that video, man, and pay attention closely to the lyrics. Then go and read Psalm 27, 13 to 14. And tell me if God won't shift your life. If he won't bring joy in your morning. I'm telling you, man. This is it. This is it. Don't give up. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up because the pain of of regret and having given up is worse than the pain that you are experiencing in this moment. Romans 8, 18, the, the pain, the suffering that we are presently experiencing is nothing compared to the joy and the glory that is to be revealed. Beloved, don't you dare give up. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. So y'all know what it is. It's Los here. Subscribe if you haven't. More videos to come. Let me know some topics down below. Give me some ideas. What what do you want me to talk about? What do you want to hear me explain or get in depth on? Let me know what's good. Y'all know what it is. It's Los here. We on the throne of positivity. But nobody shall dethrone us. We out.